If you've ended up in the spotlight giving an interview, you're probably there for one of two main reasons. You are either there because you are the story, or because you have a kind of knowledge or insight into the story that others don't have. Let's walk through a scenario and put ourselves in the position of a reporter who is chasing a story. James, who is British, was visiting Sierra Leone and he caught the virus of an epidemic disease. His treatment began in the capital Freetown, but he was transferred to a specialist viral infection unit in London. He recovered fully after spending three weeks in that unit and got the all clear from the doctors. Of course we'll interview James. He has an amazing story. It's a great human angle and one that reflects both challenge and survival. But who else should we interview? The British doctors who treated him would also be good candidates because they managed to save his life. We would also want to interview Anna, the nurse in a small health center back in Sierra Leone who spotted James's virus earlier enough so that he could be treated. She will be able to tell us about James's case, but also give us on the ground insights and tell us about the many thousands who are not as lucky to escape as he was. We also want to interview an expert on the virus. A professor from the Center for Tropical Diseases in London would be a perfect candidate to shed light on what that epidemic is, how contagious it can be, and how it can be treated. Most importantly, they can also tell the public how scared they should be based on their experience. Sometimes the media is not aware that you exist or that you would be perfect to give an interview for a story. That is why you need to think about your media outreach strategy. To learn more on how to create such a strategy, you can take my media outreach course here on Advocacy Assembly.